Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, coins you should be that you should take risks on, um, how to know if a coin's worth taking a risk on, um, and we're going to be talking about how uh, you kind of stick with one series to enjoy it and understand it and, and develop it, but there's a certain time where you make the leap into other series. Um, and I actually bought two coins this weekend. I'm going to show you guys here in just a minute uh, of exactly uh, the exact practice that I'm using, but for these coins. Um, I bought them for the right price. Uh, they are beautiful, they're collectible, and um, I'll have a customer for it. And so um, let me give you guys some practical, uh, honest tips on uh, how to become more successful in the business by expanding your knowledge, but also expanding your palette of what you can buy and what you can sell in the coin business. So uh, let me take you guys upstairs, show you guys these coins, and then show you guys a bunch of other coins that we got in at the Broken Arrow Show, um, just to show you guys what um, we started working on um, as coin dealers and then what we're actually and what we have moved to in terms of Carson Cities or Key Dates or uh, Key Date Dimes or um, sought after uh, typeset coins. So uh, let's go upstairs and show you guys. Alrighty guys, just made it to the light box and I want to show you guys a few coins. But today we're going to be talking about um, how to take a calculated risk on a new kind of uh, coin that uh, you don't really know too much about or um, you're just afraid of taking that leap. Um, and we're going to show you a few coins, give you a few tips about what to do and kind of what my background is and what uh, led me to uh, buy other coins and what kind of coins I've been buying lately that have been different. So up first we're going to show you this 1875 uh, AU55 20 cent piece. I've never bought a 20 cent piece, held a 20 cent piece, anything like that. Um, but there's the first tip I want to give you guys is uh, find a coin. If it's new to you, find a coin that's attractive. And the cool part about this coin um, is that um, the dealer, so, and the second tip I guess would, would be to you guys is find um, find the right coin. And um, I'm going to explain to you in just a second exactly what that means. But um, I was talking to a dealer. Uh, he showed me this piece. He told me, I submitted this coin myself, and I've had it for so many years, but I don't want to leave it to my family because I don't think they'll be able to know what to do with it while I'm gone. And so he submitted this coin. He talked to a lot of his dealer buddies, and he said, um, it appears like it's in an early die stage, which means um, you can kind of see this luster on this 20 cent piece kind of booming off of it. Um, and there's a lot of uh, polish lines on there, and there's a lot of luster on there too. And it almost has like a, a AU58 PL feel to it. And and so what's interesting, and the reason why I said the second thing is because, uh, or the second tip, which is buy the right coin, is because um, as far as I know for 20 cent pieces, they're very hard to get when the, in this attractive way in terms of not being burnt or uh, too worn down or too overpriced. Um, but when I talked to this seller, um, he offered it just a little bit above gray sheet for me. And so a uh, coin like this, I had to, uh, I had to pick up and try. Um, so the third tip would be buy for the right price. Um, if you want to take a leap into something new, I would get it as close to gray sheet, if not under gray sheet. Um, just so you make sure that you don't have uh, room to lose in terms of if you had to resell it tomorrow or if uh, if you wanted to move on to something different um, did you pay too much for it and so I paid just above gray sheet for this coin um, and it, it's really attractive and when I brought it home I told a few of my uh, coin buddies and they said wow can you ship that out to us and so we sold that last night and it's going to be in the mail tomorrow morning. So, beautiful coin, but let's jump into the next one. So, speaking of new coins, I also bought something else, which is an 1875S half dollar. Uh, the thing I love about this coin is the originality to it. Um, most of them, like I said, 
especially 1875 and before I mean with these coins you're starting to get a lot of black dark uh, ugly toning to it you can see a little bit over here at the stars but for the most part it's very very original nothing tampered with it um, and so with the three tips I gave you guys you know buy the coin for the right price um, and and following the other steps that I'm going to be posting on the screen um, you're, you're bound to find something that you like um, and also something new to where your customers might be wanting it as well. And uh, when I list something for the right price as well, or for the price that makes me some money, um, I leave enough room in there for uh, someone else to possibly make money or for someone else to enjoy the coin as well. Um, and so uh, I guess the fourth tip would be, uh, you know, make sure that you have a customer base for it or you uh, have the opportunity to have a customer base, customer base for it. Um, when I bought this coin I took a chance on it and I don't really have too many customers for it but I take it into a marketplace there's a, actually a few groups on Facebook um, there's actually our website you know link in the description you know what I mean go check it out and there's also Instagram and so with those three platforms and this platform um, the reach is so vast and wide that sometimes it's easier for me to take a chance than most other dealers that are only selling to uh, one pocket or one community. And so um, what I would also say is just kind of expand your, uh, I almost dropped that, but expand kind of your customer base, expand where you can post things, learn more about different platforms for you to uh, find more customers and work with more people. Um, find people at coin shows that you'd want to sell to as well. But Overall, this is a nice coin. I don't think it'll have a problem selling. Um, it's just got to wait for the right person. And so, I hope these tips have helped you so far. But let's jump into a few actually pretty cool raw coins um, that we have for sale as well. So, this 1942 over one dime I actually found at a table, and I was like, it was pretty cheap, you know. Um, the, and the reason why is because, you know, there's actually some damage on it. Damage right on the, um, so it's like someone took, uh, some, some cutters and kind of bent it in like this. I don't know if I can get it to focus, but they kind of grabbed the coin with like some bolt cutters or some, some, something weird. And they made some imprints on it, bent the coin. Um, and as you can see, when you flip it over, um, you can kind of see there's imprints across the uh, torch and everything and you can also see the scratch here um, but I got this for a reasonable price most of the time you need it, people need a hole filler for a coin and um, 42 over ones are pretty tough coins alone and when you get it for an affordable price um, basically the marketing for me is um, this is the cheapest 42 over one you can find and so that's kinda what I do and how I uh, Pitch it, to, pitch it to my customers that are, are wanting to buy things like this. Um, it's the cheapest over date you're going to find. And so the way you, I got into uh, Mercury Dimes is that uh, I started off with key dates. Um, and they were in low grades. So like I, we've been talking about the few past times. Uh, 16D uh, Mercury Dime, 42 over 1, uh, 21, uh, 21D. Um, those types of dates are easy sells and it accommodates many price ranges so say you have a hundred bucks for a 21 uh, D or 21 uh, you know you're buying something probably VG8 but still it's a pretty nice pretty nice coin um, and you won't have any problem selling it um, I, I was working with a few thousand dollars at the time when I bought my first two over one and then I also uh, bought my first 16 D when I had probably a, a, only a couple thousand dollars um, but at the time, you know, uh, 16 Ds were only a few hundred bucks, and they were really easy movers. So I think I've sold probably 50 16 Ds in my time, and the number's only going to grow bigger because um, I started to learn more about it. I've started to uh, use the things that I've practiced in this video, uh, just just so people um, just so people can find the coin that they love, and I can also continue to do business. So it's a pretty cool coin. Let's jump into a few more. And so uh, here's another coin. This is the 1895O. Um, it's kind of like like we were saying with the 42 over 1. You're putting your feet in the water. You're doing what you can. Um, this coin's pretty cheap as well. It's a key date and a hole filler. And so uh, sometimes you don't want to spend, you know, 
500, $1,000 and a 95 oh, that's a little bit nicer, but you do want to offer something to your customers that, you know, has the date showing, has the mint mark showing, um, and so sometimes uh, you want you're starting out with a cheap 18950, um, and you're working up building your inventory or building your your capital to buy more or buy a better one for your customers. Um, and so when you put your feet in the water on a new coin or a new date, um, you know so you could start cheap, and you can build from there. And so um, you know I'm buying coins pretty cheap. Um, if I find them and then I'm also buying the ones that are pretty expensive as well if they're for the right price so it's all really a judgment on um, how comfortable you are in the space and what I would say the fifth tip is, is start small start small is very important um, uh, because it starts to get you a grasp in the space but you're not going to be losing too much money if you do make a mistake um, but with these these steps I don't think you will make a mistake but this is a pretty nice coin let's jump into the next one so up until uh, this year, I, I started working on CCs and selling CCs, and so uh, I only really started studying prices on them uh, only a few months ago, but um, I was starting to get pretty equipped to them. Um, I started looking into how, how to grade them, um, and also what the market is for them. And so as you, everybody knows, CCs have been jumping like crazy uh, this past uh, year. And so a 92 CC, um, is no exception and I've been buying BU CC's and uh, common date CC's and a little bit tougher CC's as well but um, this coin you know uh, it's a hundred fifty dollar coin or two hundred dollar coin um, it's something I can afford it's got my feet in the water um, it's something manageable for me to grade um, and something that will support uh, my customer base you know, I saw 1892 S MS 65 or 1892 CC MS 65 at the show. Uh, blast white, beautiful, and but what it's like a six, seven thousand dollar coin, something I can't afford um, to consume that much of my capital. But this coin can do that because um, it's it's nice. Um, it's not too expensive, but it's something that someone's been looking for, and that's kind of what uh, the the main trend is for this video is that. Find something that someone's looking for, and is it in your budget? Can you make money? Um, and is it a beautiful coin? Um, this coin has a little bit of rim, rim dings on it, but overall the details are very strong. There's nothing that's too distracting for it. Um, but yeah, pretty cool coin. Uh, let's jump into the next one. So as we're talking about 1895 O's earlier, um, you're able to move up once you start to kind of gain more knowledge in the space and how to sell things. Um, this one's an 1895 uh, O as well. It's a details coin, um, but it has really nice details, better details than that coin over there, and so it demands more of a premium. Um, I think this coin, uh, I think it was like VF25, I think VF30 maybe, on a good day, um, details. But if you find the right coin um, for the right price, and it's, it's beautiful enough, uh, you'll sell it. And so... I actually showed this coin to one of my customers on here, uh, Mr. Robert, not sure if you're watching, but he was interested in this coin. Um, he might have actually picked it up. Uh, you'll see soon. If it's out of stock on the website, then you know. <laughs> but he said, I need something better. Um, it's a better hole filler for me. And so this coin, um, it's not your run-of-the-mill, beaten-to-death coins, but it is a coin um, that is middle of the road, uh, has details, grade, but... Having uh, the condition like like this, uh, the hair at least having some detail, um, and not being too pricey, um, it's kind of what's going to attach, uh, kind of attach to many uh, middle of the road collectors that are saying, you know, I have a couple hundred bucks a week to spend, or a few thousand dollars a week to spend on coins. Um, you're going to find someone that needs a coin, uh, no matter where uh, the coin sits in terms of detail, um, but. Uh, this is a pretty nice coin, and uh, let's jump into the last couple of coins. Alrighty, so uh, like I said, uh, I started getting to CCs this this year. I've been selling a lot to wholesalers. I probably uh, have bought a few hundred, maybe two hundred, I think. Um, but uh, for for these types of coins, uh, I started getting into them, and normally I don't buy these unless they're a really good price. Uh, Mr. Robert's also interested in this one. Shout out to Robert. He's getting all the glory of this video. Um, but 
I thought this is a nice BU coin. Um, it has really nice details on the reverse. Um, the price was a, a steal at this at this uh, time. Uh, the the price actually was like uh, I, I don't even remember, but it was pretty cheap compared to what uh, wholesalers would pay. And so uh, I found it for the right price. Uh, it was a beautiful coin. Um, someone's gonna need it. Um, it's, and uh, I picked it up, but. I started working on CCs. I started asking many people around, uh, you know, what what would you pay for a CC? Um, I ended up finding a really nice group of wholesalers that do buy CCs for top dollar, and so this one has a designated plan for it. Um, in case one of you guys don't enjoy it or don't want to pick it up, uh, someone else will pick it up for me. So it's kind of that fallback plan, um, but really nice coin. I like it. And we got a few more Commodate CCs here, all kind of the same story, uh, you know, 78 CC, 82 CC, this one's a little bit nicer, um, kind of, I would say, MS64, something like that, um, and an 1884 CC. So all these coins uh, we picked up from the same dealer uh, for a good price, um, so we found it for the right price, uh, they were nice coins, not details coins, um, they have a home for them, we have a customer for them. And so uh, they met all my criteria. I jumped on him, pulled the trigger. He was just laying them out, and I was like, "Hey, just can I set some stuff aside?" And he's like, "Of course." And so we started to do that, and um, it was a great deal that I got. So, but let me show you guys one last coin before uh, you go. This is an 1889CC. Um, speaking of dates for people to fill their albums and stuff, uh, this one's a details grade coin. I think it's been uh, polished or over dipped or something. Um, it's pretty beat, um, has some rim dings, um, but the coin is, uh, is extremely sought after. Um, it's the key date of the CC uh, series, and so uh, I started jumping into this coin as soon as I started working on those cheaper coins like we were talking about. Find something cheap that you can start to learn from, um, build your customer base, and then move into something that uh, a customer might want um, that's a little bit more expensive. So this is like an $800 coin just in its condition. And so when I saw this at the show, I had to jump on it just because uh, I didn't even know too much about the pricing at that point. I was like, it has strong enough details to it, but at the end of the day, someone's gonna want this coin. It's a key day coin, it's in high demand. And so um, I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope our tips helped you. Um, and if uh, they did, uh, you know what to do already. Please leave a like. Um, and uh, yeah, thank you for letting me take a look with these at these beautiful coins with you All right guys, uh, I appreciate you guys watching today's video uh, We spent a lot of time trying to pick out certain coins that uh, Kind of followed our tip line uh, to help you guys But I hope they were beneficial to you in your coin dealing or coin collecting experience um, If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like uh, comment what your favorite coin was or your favorite tip was and subscribe if you want to see more coin content. But uh, I'm going to let you guys go, get back to uh, buying and selling and working on these coins. So I'll see you guys in the next video.